repeal, replace, or starve the law to death. Those seem to be the choices being considered now on the Affordable Care Act. So what might happen if the law was repealed without new legislation to replace it, or if the law is just not funded, which seems to be President Trump's preference? Many who had coverage before complained the ACA increased their premiums, but an insurance expert who deals with a lot of employer-based plans told us don't expect a decrease unless the cost of health care is addressed. There's nothing that the Affordable Care Act has done or that this Trump care law, which now looks like is in shambles, neither of those things are really doing anything to help control costs over the long term. And so regardless of what happens, whether it gets repealed, whether it's status quo, costs are going to continue to rise for most people. Meanwhile, there are over 400,000 people in Georgia who have been able to buy insurance through the ACA exchanges with the help of subsidies. If the law is repealed or the subsidies are simply not paid by the feds, it is expected those people who gained coverage will lose it again.